There is two main, main numbers that um, are very tiring. There's one tap number, which is Anything Goes, the, the title. So that's um, about an eight minute number of tapping and belting my heart out. So that's a pretty crazy number. And then second act, we have right off the bat, we have a fast jazz um, blow Gabriel blow. That's what it's called. And it's, it's, um, it's a pretty interesting number. I like it, but it's very tiring, very tiring. How different is it from other shows that you've done? Um, I think it's different in the way that shows that I've done before aren't this, um, like, kapow. Like, the other shows I've done, I can go into my classical voice. I can play with it. Um, this, this show is more, um, my character's very sure of herself, so I have to constantly be right on top of what she would be doing. What would she do in this scenario? Like, those kind of things. So I think, um... This is definitely more of a in-your-face show than other shows that I've done before. And what are you learning through the process? Uh, definitely how to use my voice in different ways. I've learned so many different vocal techniques um, that I would have never dreamed of even being able to like express on stage. So I've learned how to belt. Um, I'm still working on uh, doing a little bit of a 30s accent, so I'm able to expand my horizons with my vocal techniques and those kind of things. So. And is that what Toros does for you, being part of that program? I think definitely. Um, I think not only just meeting people and becoming a family, but also you learn so much and I'm definitely expanding what I can do and expanding my repertoire. So I think it's definitely beneficial in that way. And what do you like about this show? Because it's uh, set, it's a, it's a period piece, so you're not necessarily familiar with what, what this time period is. Right. Um, I think my favorite part of this show is probably the music. Um, the music is just phenomenal. I love it. It's upbeat. Um, the crowd will definitely leave with a smile on their faces. The show is hilarious. There's jokes here and there. Maybe not so much a, a moral, uh, a big moral overall, as little morals in between where people will go, oh, I see that, oh, I see that. Um, but it's a funny show and the music is amazing. Toros, I uh, believe when I was grade eight, grade seven going into grade eight, and uh, my parents met Toros, so it's always been a family thing, and uh, you know, you've been there for a lot of the journey, you've been able to see a lot of um, my friends and peers and other people grow up through Toros, and it's a, it's a neat process. Um, what did you to... learn through that? Like, you know, what stands out? from being that little oh, kid Oh, leadership first qualities, show. of course. Um, working with, uh, well, working with older kids and aspiring to get to where they are and uh, to get up to that level. Um, I know when I did my first show, there were a lot of older people that I aspired to, um, you know, like they got some, some of the bigger roles and I aspired to do that, so I worked a lot harder. Um, I did singing lessons, I sang harder. Uh, I did, couldn't quite dance harder. But, uh, you know, sang harder to get to where they were. And uh, last summer was uh, a great experience for me because I got to play the role of, that I've always wanted to play. But now doing um, 
the other part of it, um, having done Challenge for about, I think this is my fifth year with Challenge, uh, directing, it's a lot of fun coming to Toro, is something that I grew up with, and being able to apply skills that I learned from my regular Challenge job to um, something that I've been doing since childhood. And so it's been a great experience for me. I love working with Shane and Marg and Karen, of course. Karen and I have seen each other every day pretty well since I've been home for the summer. And working with Amber and, of course, with Marla and Marilyn and everyone else on the staff. Jesse Beam, my good buddy. And um, it's neat this year uh, working with kids that I've seen grow up in Tauros who came in when they were in grade 7 and grade 8 and now they're in high school and they make me feel old and so it's great to see them, it's great to direct them too. Um, being on stage with them is great uh, and I, you know I love to do both sides of it but just being able to work with Shane as an assistant director is a nice breather from my other job but it's also uh, nice to be able to contribute to Tauros in a different meaningful way. What have you learned through the process of, of assisting Shane? Are there things that you know, possibly you hadn't thought of as a director at this point? Well, I think this summer um, working with Shane has been not only a lot of fun, but I've been able to apply a lot of my, uh, my own interests and personal experience, especially to a show like Anything Goes, because I'm a big fan of the classics and the oldie shows, and especially the humor of this show. Uh, very, uh, very old school. And something that I want to do with Shane that we have done for this show is to take um, the old humor and to put up on a pedestal and to really showcase it but to also bring in some modern humor some more um, more family guy-esque kind of things you know just like some goofy humor into it as well so that a modern audience can come and appreciate the old jokes but they can also feel familiar um, with some of uh, you know like with a, a new comedy feel so you you've rounded out the show so that grandma and grandchild can appreciate oh yeah at for the same sure time. like anything goes is uh, just because it was made in the 30s doesn't mean that young people aren't going to enjoy it like it's funny um i wasn't very familiar with the show coming into it i'm a fan of like the, the classics like roger hammerstein and gilbert sullivan um but not so much with like this cole porter musical uh, i've been familiar with cole porter's music but not necessarily with this particular show and so when i read through the script the first time it got me laughing pretty hard uh, there's some, and it can still be risque, even though it's an old show. Uh, it's still interesting. It's an intriguing show, and it's funny, and uh, everyone will enjoy it. I think if you like tap dancing and laughing and some good old-fashioned tunes, and you like anything goes. <laughs> nothing right you just have the parts and um, the staff that's pretty much it um, slowly you kind of work on the bigger scenes that take the longest and then um, the leads go off the dancers go off and it's not until like the first like last like couple weeks that you actually like kind of see what you have and it all comes together and um, when you left you just have like an amazing show that you don't want to leave what was the process for this one how and has it been different than other shows that you've worked on um, a little bit different, but for the most part, all shows are pretty well the same. Um, it's just a lot of work and a lot of, like, separate working on different things as well, like, to make the most of your time. Um, but I wouldn't say the process has been that much different than any of the other shows I've experienced. Friendships along the way. I, I, I can't help but think that you, you had a few heading into Tauros, but there are many at the end of it. Yeah, for sure. Especially um, last year being the last uh, year for a lot of my other friends um, coming in. I didn't have as many friends going in as I normally would. And now this year, um, you really grow because you spend so much time together. You just grow closer together and you find common interests and everyone becomes friend at the end. What's your favorite part about this show? And the comedy, like um, just how fun it is to do. And... Um, all the fun characters I get to play, I think. What can folks expect from this show? Um, 
a laugh, really. Um, it'll keep you entertained, keep you always guessing. The music is um, danceable too, so you can sit in your chair and just go along with it. Um, I think you can just expect anything from the show. Anything else. Oh, my great great grandmother now and then stepped out with a gypsy. What you can say she was a little bit tipsy that way. Punch tipsy. No, no. More than love, there wasn't my doubt. So I can't wait to get. A stage all set so I can let the <laughs>